Temperatures have dropped and will continue going down with wind chills near single digits by morning. This after a day of high wind gusts. Let's get a first take of the forecast from meteorologist Justin Esterly. Yeah, it was a breezy one out there today. Really windy in a couple of spots. 56 mile an hour wind gust happened here in Lexington earlier on. Some higher ones off in far southeastern Kentucky. We are going to see these winds continue to persistently give us 40 plus as we head into the overnight. Wind advisory for us until 7 a.m. tomorrow. Even after that 7 a.m. wind advisory expires, we are expecting to see some gusty winds that we lead into the evening. We're going to be seeing those wind gusts though in the mid to upper 40s. Maybe a shot at 50 there early and then they slowly start to settle down for us as we head into tomorrow night. Now we're still tracking a pretty big storm for you here this evening. It's got some rain showers that are going to try to turn over to some snow as we head into the overnight light for the most part. Minor accumulations expected, but those winds are going to continue to bring those colder temps, and we're going to have wind chills in the single digits to go with the chance for a few slippery spots tomorrow. Not the only chance at snow this weekend, plus another storm coming in for us early next week. Details coming up. Thank you, Justin. If you were out driving today, you may have noticed extra high winds early this afternoon into this evening. Lexington Fayette Emergency Management says it's been preparing for all types of weather this weekend. Bossy Pro Coast shows us how crews are getting ready for all possibilities. Whether it's rain, snow, or high winds, Lexington Fayette emergency management officials have been tracking this weather for several days now and are preparing for what's to come way this weekend. Wind gusts of 50 to 60 miles per hour had emergency management officials on their toes wondering what's next. We've been tracking this weather for several days now and we see two pretty much major events. The first one is wind tonight where we could get gusts up to 55 mile an hour or so and that's going to go probably through the rest of the night. So over the course of the weekend, it gets colder. Emergency Management Director Rob Lorkin says there's the chance we could see tree branches down or broken power lines. Down power lines. Don't touch them. Don't try to move them. It may be an electric line. It may not be. Even if it is not, there's a possibility that non-electric line could be in contact with an electric line in an area that you don't see. With high winds, Larkin suggests lowering your speed and knowing your limitations when driving. Winds aren't always capable of moving your car, but they can make it easier for you to lose control. The winds are moving from, from west to east. Right now, we're, as you can see, they're probably actually coming more out of the south. But we expect that to transition from, from west to east. Uh, so north and southbound traffic, it could get a little bit dicey. So if you don't have to travel during the high wind conditions, don't. Lorkin's best advice is to have a severe weather plan, keep everything charged in case you lose power, and have an alternate place to stay. And we'll be tracking weather tonight and all the way through this weekend, both on air and online. You can also check out our Fox 56 News weather app. In Lexington, I'm Vasi Prokos, Fox 56 News.